Hey, what's up, guys? It's Hey Google Lewis 99, and welcome to um, part two of my Wii U um, homebrew series um, videos. If you haven't seen part one, where I show you how to hack and uh, install Terra Mazu uh, on your Wii U, which will allow you to, um, you know, install and use homebrew and things like that, um, down below. Um, Probably right over here, I'm going to include a pop-up link to the part one um, or in the description. Check that out if you haven't seen that because a lot of the stuff I'm talking about now um, doesn't make much sense if you didn't watch the the, the video before. So um, on this video, I'm basically going to show you how to get how to get some homebrew um, apps. Um, three apps I'm going to show you is how to um, you save me which basically you could manage your Wii U and your V we save data so um, V we is virtual so I'm also gonna do a video on how to install you know a virtual Wii on your Wii U but that's for another uh, video and down the series um, and I'm gonna show you uh, boot I'm uh, sorry if I I mispronounced that. Um, Boo Pair, which allows you to uh, use um, popular uh, Bluetooth controllers, probably PS3, Xbox One, you know, things of that nature, 360, Switch, Switch probably, and the Homebrew App Store, which allows you to download Homebrew apps straight from the Wii U so you don't have to get on the PC and transfer them. So um, that's pretty neat. So let's get started. So we're going to download. The first one, which is going to be the Save Me, and the website that I'm using to get these um, files, I will include a link down below in the description of the video. And let's download our second one, um, um, Boop Air. Okay, we're going to go down, we're going to go for the dot .zip. Okay, and the last one, the Home Boost Store. Now, for the home booster, you're going to need internet access on your, on your Wii U since you're going to access a server to download these files. So, you definitely want to uh, make sure that you have, um, you know, internet on the Wii U. Okay. Um, so, what um, we're going to go to um, the dot zip, which is the Wii U extracted. Okay, there you go. So... I'm gonna open the download folder. And there's three files. So to make it easier, I'm just gonna bring it to. Um, uh, sorry, let me close that out. That. Gonna bring it to the desktop. And uh, there's really two ways you can go about doing this. You can extract. Um, all these to a folder separately, um, like this file here. This was a zip. Um, it would just extract to a new folder and then it would show you the stuff inside. Or, like, what I like to do, I like to open up each one and then just transfer it that way. So, I have my memory card plugin. So, I'm just going to go to my. Um... Oh, sorry, I lied. I don't. Okay. Okay, that's my uh, memory card. Link that down below. Close out this. Okay. So I'm gonna open up to the um to the homebrew zip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the Wii folder right on the root. And um it doesn't ask me here, but if he says this, you know, you because this is a Okay, now on the Wii U menu, we're going to go to the Wii U menu here. And then um, you see the boot selector here. So um, you can just select, go down and press A to open the homebrew launcher. Um, for you guys that want to um know the the second way to get the homebrew launcher is going to select wii u menu 
you can go home boot launcher right from the boot menu and it will take you to the boot launcher by showing um the second method which I showed before in um part one of this uh Wii U homebrew series. Okay, so um the second way is just to open the Wii Maker app, Me Maker, I believe it's called Me Maker, yep. And basically that will open the homebrew launcher, which stands the launcher that allows you to um you know use homebrew apps. So let's start with the first one. Save me. So it allows you to um, back up the saves or your virtual re saves to your SD card and also restore them. You can also copy saves from the NAN. We're gonna load this. I don't have any um any saves because this is a new system. Um but basically um you would just select A and um for example, I don't have a, I don't, I had not play uh, Mario uh, Kart 8 yet on the system, but um, basically um, you can then just back up the save data and you just back it up to the SD card and then you can go on your PC and save it there and then, um, then you can just restore the backup so you can just go down and restore the save data. Um, Slots, select SD card, all users, copy from all users, okay, and it said yes, A, and it will restore the backup. And then um, you can import from Loadline, which I believe is an app where you can download now your game saves. Um, I will go more in de detail about that in a later video. Just want to show you basically how would you, um, you know, basically use to save me. And then now the second one is the uh, Bluetooth pairing menu. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. So it uh, it pairs DualShock 3 controls using USB cable to the console. Okay. Um, okay, so you can connect your DualShock 3 using USB cable. And then you can pair it to the console and then that way, then you can um, just keep continue using the DualShock 3. Um, okay. Um, actually, I'm actually, I do actually have a dual track three, so maybe I can show you guys. I'm just going to pause the video and get my dual track three quickly. Okay. I wasn't going to show this, but I actually do have a dual track three so I can actually do this. So we're going to open the app again. Okay, so let me just go ahead and just. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It kind of fell. It seems like I need a another file in order to make this app work. So I'm just gonna exit out that app. So we're gonna go to why most people, you know, are watching this part for the Homebrew App Store. So the course part here. Make sure that you reuse connected to the internet. And um, you can download different apps, you know, straight from your Wii U without having to go on your PC and then transfer it to your SD card, which, which is pretty awesome. So we already have this app. Save me, we have already. We have the Homebrew Launcher. So there's a lot of different um, apps you can install, Gamepad, Auto Standby. So it will automatically um, put the... Um, Put the gamepad in standby so it doesn't stay on. Um, gamepad volume changer. A lot of these are Walmart plugins. I'm gonna do a video on that in a part of this homebrew series. Um, you have to install Oma and then you can use these different plugins, which is actually pretty awesome. I'm really interested in doing a video on that. Um, Allowing you let's see here. Okay, you know what? Let me download this even though I do have the app. Um so it's very uh and this is legacy.
Okay, so this is for the older firmware, so we're not gonna mess with that. Um, okay, so basically they have different tabs here. Um, a robot only, Walmart only, um, um, plugin. So you can see all the different type of plugins that you can use with this. It's pretty, pretty neat. I'm probably gonna do a video on installing this a uh, Walmart on my um. It'll probably be my part five. Okay, and then on the games tab, you have the games, the emulators, you have RetroArch. So, um, it's great for. Okay, so we're gonna download this. Okay, so it's going to take a while for this to download, so um, I will come back when it's finished downloading. Okay, downloading the emulator took a while, so I just finished downloading the emulator. I was going to show you guys, um, here's tools, so you have, um, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see well, probably not. Um, you got the Mario 64, Launcher, USB Hide, Dix2 app, so this makes um, the Dix game to app so you can launch it from the app. Okay, and you got Advance, which of right now doesn't have anything. And then this is pretty much um, random things. And then this is low line GTX. Okay, so pretty much that's the App Store. Um, there's a lot of very unique things that you can find here. Um, I just want to go ahead and show you guys um, the apps that I downloaded. So, If we could exit out of here, that would be uh that would be nice. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to shut this off. Cause there's really no way for me to exit out of um so when we go back on the homebrew launcher, so I'll open the the Me Maker. Okay, so I go to the next page and there's my apps, RetroArch, and um, I got this game here, so let me, let me see if I can uh, play this game here. Because I think you need two game pads, but you might, you might be able to play one game pad. Uh, okay, yeah, I can play one game pad. Start anyway. So that's pretty much and then you can get two game parts and pretty much play against each scenario you know if you have somebody else in the room it's, it's a pretty fun game retro uh, retro it retro like and let's follow up a retro arc quickly i don't have really anything in here i don't have um all the folders and libraries but so that's retro arc there and you know you got your settings here favorite sorry for the quality um but then you can you know all your old games you know um i don't know what games you can actually play i know it could be genesis gba um probably nintendo 64 and um sega pretty much and it's you know which walk you can play a lot of different uh, emulators i'll probably do a very separate on that alone because there's so many different types of games that you can play well, anyway, guys, this is it. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you need um, the links to the stuff that I used, I will include down below in the description of the video. Um, and guys, if you like it, wait, comment, subscribe for another great um, video tutorials. The next um, video that I'm going to do in um, this, this series, which will be part three, I'm gonna show you how you can back up your um your Wii U Dix games onto your internal memory or a USB drive. That way, 
you can play your games without having the CD and in the event that the CD gets damaged or you lost it, you will have the game digitally on your console. So check out for part three. Um and uh, again if you guys didn't see part one, I recommend for you to see part one because a lot of stuff that I show you is not gonna make sense unless you know of of it of the knowledge beforehand or unless you watch part one of my video. So look down in the description for that. Anyway guys, take care, have fun, and I see you in part three, which will be the next one.